Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode we prepared the space area a little bit for future consumption. Today I would like to make some more progression towards the solar panels by making the glass forge. Let's build it down here, also temporarily next to our smelting system. I'm then gonna go ahead and grab some insulated pipes and I'm actually gonna make them out of the ceramic material that I prepared. Just bring them over have the molten sand travel as little tiles as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and dump it right into the liquid here now even though i don't think that's still important but i want to go ahead and insulate the tiles this is standing on and then we also want to hook it up to power another thing i want to do is set up a storage bin here where we're gonna collect the sand because now we don't want to use the sand anymore to filter the nasties it should be dedicated to the forge so within filtration medium sand i'm gonna set this to the highest priority we should always be bringing that here and hopefully thanks to the proximity settings they will not be using that for our deodorizers they might still go ahead and occasionally use that to fill up the deodorizers nearby, but generally the regolith should be closer. Right now we do not have any sand, but there is still some sandstone here in this pile. And within the rock crusher, we are actually crushing that up, if I'm not mistaken. Sandstone to sand. Yeah, right there. There it is, my beautiful glass forge. Let's bring it into action. I'm gonna start with about 30 crafts and see just where this is going. Whoops, I totally misplaced that storage bin. There we go. That's much better. Gonna gonna set this to the same priority I have all of my operations buildings at. There we go. Jean is crafting the first glass. It is dropping over and into here. It should be okay with the temperature though. Making the solar panels on this planetoid is really not worth it, but making them here might be extremely beneficial. So maybe first things first, we want to improve our situation here a little bit. We're gonna build the mafic rock ladder all the way up. I'm also gonna leave five tiles free right here, and this would be the top level right there. And then we're gonna do something similar here on the second planetoid, making sure we don't suffer too much from the meteorites. Have a storage bin here with all mafic rock, and then we're just gonna tile this up. Now the funny thing here is that I need to change Ari. I need to downgrade the building priorities again, otherwise I'm not gonna be storing any materials that I want. With the storage in place here, I'm gonna be collecting some mafic rock at a slightly higher priority. Ari needs to hurry up a little bit in order to build the protective layer here. What are we at? 49 rats. Okay, just don't want to get to 100. Okay, there we go. That is already much, much better. As long as we prioritize the upper row here, we shouldn't be in trouble anymore. There's my storage bin. We're gonna store mapic rock. Looks like we're almost ready to build the first rocket platform here. We're then just gonna keep on going once we disassemble the metal refinery part. Now with some of my duplicates such as Joshua, I also want to prioritize storing a little bit more and I'm gonna do the same thing with Quinn because they don't really have anything to do otherwise. We already got 755 kilograms of glass. I think I'm gonna add that to the products for now that we're gonna send over to the second planetoid. That probably goes under refined material. No, manufactured maybe. There you go. Oh, I just see. We also need to send over some more polluted dirt if we're so inclined. Now, another thing I really want to test out is the Geo Tuner, just to see what it does. I think we should be able to get this hooked up here, maybe even build a door right there, honestly. Oh, check this out. We actually ran out of power for the first time, and it's just before nighttime. That begs the question, are we going to be able to completely fill up our battery storage? No, it doesn't look like we will. Hmm, okay. So slowly but surely, I will have to think about maybe adding another farm. Good, it is daytime, and we were able to fill it up three-fourths. That's not a lot, is it? So maybe it is beneficial to add a bunch of solar panels to the mix here as well. I mean, we don't completely have to go overboard, just a little bit of backup power, maybe four panels or so. And then it begs the question where we're gonna put them. But I think for now, I just wanna fix my power problem. And so all I want to see is this one hooked up here. Let's bring this cable all the way down, then make our way through here and hook it up. Some heavy watch join plate and maybe another one here. You know, I think people are contracting slime lung again. We might have some germ issues every now and then inside the base. This is not good here. But I'm working on it with another deodorizer that should be fixed. Still, I'm really looking forward to now actually making a fully fledged out worker base with all the features and bells and whistles. 
Okay, now with the support of the solar panels, it seems I can barely keep up now with my power demands, which is good. So this is just helping out a little bit during the daytime. Now, of course, one easy thing we could take care of is making use of the hydrogen here as well. That would honestly be fairly easy and also efficient. So let me just go ahead and set up something here. What is this? Just random abyssalite. But yeah, essentially, I want to go for a bunch of hydrogen generators right here. We're just going to set up, let's say, four. Yeah, with a smart battery in the center. So my smart battery would be going right here. And it would, of course, influence whether or not the hydrogen generator should be going for it. Then, of course, we could go ahead and combine all the outputs of our gas reservoirs. And I think for now, I'm just going to bring it down into a filter. That might be easier. There it is. Gas filter. The hydrogen I'm going to extract right here. It's going to go into the various hydrogen generators and all of the other gases I'm just going to expel right here. I also took apart the two science buildings that we had standing here and I brought them over here. The research station and the supercomputer. I will be putting down the last science station here on the top as well as a matter of fact maybe we can already research it right here the data analysis research yeah we need the virtual planetarium let's just go ahead and research that this here already counts as a laboratory room the one that i wanted to use to try out the geotuner with the geotuner it seems we can target a gold volcano and then what happens? I think, yeah, duplicate needs to toggle that. Okay, now we require some experimentation. Wait a second, is the gold volcano... No, it's dormant at the moment. Next activity in 22 cycles. So we would have to go for the cobalt thingamabob. The problem just here is that it is extremely hot. Like, I do struggle a little bit cooling down the cobalt, contrary to the gold, which is completely easy. Double click to view... Okay. Ah, interesting. But yeah, honestly, I think the geyser needs to be active or the volcano let me see is there anything we could do about the other gold volcano i mean we could definitely make a similar system i'm actually tempted to do that we're gonna dig it up and then i'm just gonna insulate this part right here so i just want to make sure we have some kind of a barrier in terms of heat distribution like here is all abyssalite so all of the chill here is going to be contained and then right here i also don't want any heat to escape or whatever but i think if we did something like that it doesn't even matter that we have gases going on here we could then allow the gold to just touch the terrain and then eventually be solidified but yeah i think that is exactly what i'm gonna do this one here is idle so it's gonna be active as soon as we dig it up you know, something that is weird, if I check this out, yeah, the journals aren't always being brought over. Like, we have a whole bunch of journals here, but I guess they can be brought over in one single go afterwards. But yeah, I noticed that most of my dreamers are getting idle around this point. So I think I'm gonna risk it now to go back to three downtime slots. We can serve them all. Oh, actually, we cannot serve them all in one go. We only have three toilets. But yeah, three of them could first go ahead and eat and afterwards take a poop. That's how I would do it. I'm just saying. Okay, Nisbet now wants to start digging. Uh, wait, we might want to wait until this is over here with the eruption. Uh, oh, okay. I did not wait for long enough. My bad, my bad. It stopped complaining, but there we go. It's just creating some gold, which is fine. As long as nobody's actually picking that up. Amari, you freaking booger, you. You just can't let it be. Yeah, sorry, Amari. You have to go back and I'm actually gonna disallow you inside. You're just making me lose it, man. There is my pneumatic door and Amari, you are not gonna be allowed in anymore because I cannot trust you. Yeah, and finally we are analyzing the volcano. That is good. There's some oxalite coming in. Maybe we can just go ahead and dig out the stuff. And now if we're quick enough, we can at least pick it up. There. Now the gold has cooled down adequately, so Amari, you are allowed to pick it up. What's that so hard? Just don't pick it up when it's still at 900 degrees. That's all I'm asking you. Would you be happy if you were picked up at 900 degrees? No, you wouldn't. It's common sense. Okay, nice. Seems like we are out of the gutter with the battery power. Why is nobody building that smart battery? Would now be a really good time to do that and also hook up everything. And then inside the gas filter, we want to filter out hydrogen. Ooh, ooh. I can already filter out super coolant. Interesting. Ooh, we're almost done here. 
Come on, come on, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I really want to make sure that we are picking stuff up here. This is TH32. Let me see. Yeah, TH32. That would be the one that we're targeting right now. Somebody just needs to toggle that. Uh, right here. Amari. Okay, thank you. Experimentation needed. And we are also requiring phosphorite. Phosphorite isn't something I'm actually tracking right now. Phosphorite 8.3 tons. We'll see if we actually have enough. Wait, it's refined phosphorus. I need to figure out how to make that. Refined phosphorus. Uh, yeah, I know it exists. I want to know how to make it, dude. Okay, here we have some phosphorus. What happens uh, if we melt it at 243 degrees? Then it will become liquid, right? And therefore also refined liquid. And then we just cool it down again. How do we heat it up? That is probably the much better question. We should take the extra heat from our cobalt. Yeah, we definitely have to take the heat of a volcano. It could be much easier than I figure. Hmm. Yeah, let me put that on my list. Hold on. Refine phosphorite. We're going to do that. But right now, I'm not too desperate. Rather than refining what we already have, we should go ahead and activate what we don't have. I mean, this guy is now going to contribute to our overall refined gold. And I have to make sure that it cools down properly. Should be easier easy with the gold volcano i wouldn't be doing that with the additional cobalt volcano but yeah usually amari is the only one that immediately wants to go ahead and feed the critters so i think we can just leave this running right now and then as soon as we have enough yeah it's just gonna cool down rather quickly 52 plus 80 plus 140 kilograms okay not too shabby research is completed what did i do yeah the virtual planetarium we can Put that probably right here. Well, once I remove the pump. Yeah. And we even have the space for a storage bin. Cool. Okay. This pump here has been activated for long enough. Wonderful. I really like where this is going. Virtual planetarium. And then we can collect all of our data banks, for instance, right here. Oh, we already crafted everything. This is actually going extremely quickly. Let's do another 20 crafts of glass. And then I want to smelt up some more cobalt. I'm going to do uh, 30 crafts. As for the iron, we're going to do 50 crafts. If we can craft some steel, we're just going to do that. And then gold would also be great to have some of that let's do another 50 of that aluminium i don't have too much left in terms of raw ore yeah i think we're gonna focus on gold and cobalt because that's what i have a lot of and also what i need a lot of okay so now looking at this as long as we have it on the neutronium it's not gonna really perform the way i want it to there's also not a lot of heat seeping through this barrier so that is actually pretty cool so i think what i'm gonna do is just set up a simple system i'm gonna take advantage of the fact that we have cold gas in here so all i really have to do is just set up a auto sweeper we're then gonna load that stuff into a conveyor loader and then i can have a bunch of metal tiles i'm gonna go with aluminium once again one two three four five should be enough but of course that's stupid blocking the auto sweeper so instead i'm gonna go up one two three four five inside i'm gonna build some aluminium radiant pipes and then basically all i have to do is make the loop right over here we can utilize the same cooling loop so instead of going directly over and dumping the polluted water we're first gonna go up bring this all the way up and then just connect that and complete the loop this way going all the way down like so now we can see the hydrogen generators are already going for it they're producing 800 watts a pop and we are slowly charging now of course during the night time we're gonna charge up really quickly and then the hydrogen generators are gonna stop due to the smart battery well, i'm also gonna set this to 95 percent and maybe 30 percent as a low threshold to start charging since the smart batteries can only hold half of the charge of a jumbo battery they are never gonna kick in unless we are really draining the power actually that's not true they're of course gonna kick in as soon as we have the low charge here which then means the jumbo battery is only at half the capacity but that's still good you know all the energy we are producing right now is almost free well the plug slots aren't free in just a moment we can witness another eruption and i'm really curious as to how quickly these tiles are heating up and cooling down because yeah look at that wow that is just incredible they got to 45 degrees okay um let's just see how long it takes takes i'm more curious about the last ones i mean each one is probably getting a little bit hotter uh we still bring them down to 80 degrees right here 
Okay, it's still going on. Okay, that's the last ones. This one here is 90 degrees and 80. Okay, and then they drop inside of the water and immediately get cooled down a little bit better. Yeah, looks like they pretty much go down to water temperature. Okay, that's fine. And then in between each eruption, these tiles have the time to cool down again. Okay, but we cannot really count on the baum anymore unless we dig in a little bit further. This is cobalt. What is the heat capacity? Zero 0.4 so it's still much worse than igneous rock and even dirt probably oh actually dirt is really good but then again all of this is a little bit too hot at the moment i think i'm gonna try to go down here so just continue down here a little bit in order to catch more of the chill at the bottom yeah i think i'm just gonna bring this down a little bit in the future we can take this apart again in order to get back those materials if we need to ah that's interesting this is the second time i see it they have 24 journals in there and there is no more errands and what fixed it the last time for me was to reload the game there we go reloaded the game and do we have an errand now yes indeed that is so weird oh oh it is now actually turning on interesting oh well let's have a look at the skill points of the dreamers totally forgot about that but we can go into exosuit training and this is actually the cap that i want to give them the dreamers right or maybe something that is going to distinguish them from the others so i'm just going to go with the sustainability hat dreamer 2 you get that as well dreamer 3 yes dreamer four uh we have two points for you as well wonderful and then dreamer five is not quite there yet unfortunately okay wait i have a clear issue when it comes to storing people are just not prioritizing it enough Jean could help out a little bit more with storing and then meep i think I think I'm also going to prioritize that with you a little bit more. That should theoretically be enough, but look at that. We only have one deodorizer filled up, and that's because the storage bins here aren't being delivered. I have too many storing priorities all around the base, and they never get around to it. Oh, Ari, I totally forgot about you. H how are you doing? Let's have a look at you. Absorbed radiation 74. We have some radiation vomiting going on, but that is good. Get it out of your system, buddy. Well, I guess we've been working on that a little bit. I should prioritize building the second layer so we protect ourselves a little bit better. Yeah, this is honestly extremely weird. The storing doesn't seem to be working. I need to test this out. This just doesn't add up. What if I put Lyra to the highest priority? She should be storing all the time, right? Lyra delivering something. Let's see. Let's just follow her. Whoa, she's quick. Yeah, she's now storing. Okay, well, maybe I need a dedicated stoop just for storing. Picking up Dream Journal. Now she's finally doing what she's supposed to be doing. Okay, really interesting. I don't remember ever having problems with the storing. Usually the Meep guy would just be taking care of that. In this case, also May should have the highest priority in storing. And then we have three duplicates taking care of that. Okay, one more thing we're missing are the rails. We're just gonna lead them through our aluminium tiles. And then I can probably just drop it here outside since it's the gold volcano. It should be enough just leading that through these tiles. And since my cooling loop should then also be functional, we're taking care of everything. Now, guys, you have to hurry up. We are scolding here a little bit. Yeah, this is not really good, especially... Wait, why are you coming without an exosuit? What? Nisbet, how did you manage to do that? You come back, you little booger. Yeah, take a suit. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Ah, of course, they can make it through this part. Whoops, my bad. We have to disallow that again. Of course, we have scolding duplicates. They will have to take a quick break after building this. Anyhow, we still have to bring over the cabling. I think I'm gonna do that. Ooh, let me see. I wanna keep the heat barrier in place. Yeah, I think we can remove that pneumatic door. So we're just gonna go through here and then power this up. Okay, the hydrogen here slowly but surely goes on my nerves and I have to push it back all the time. I think I'm just gonna increase that. That means we're gonna now mainly profit of the hydrogen as long as we have enough of it i'm just gonna set this to 70 percent so they're gonna kick in every now and then until i burn through a little bit of the hydrogen and then i can pump up some more put it into these storages we could also go for an infinite lock and i'm gonna do that in certain scenarios but not for everything there we go ren is coming to build the rest of the rails and now the volcano should be functional that means we're just gonna pick up everything 
for the time being until we have this picked up and it's gonna go through and it should be cooled down pretty quickly however i first have to hook this up here we're gonna cut this line so now it's gonna first go up even though well this mostly has the cooling power as well once the cobalt volcano becomes active of course this water is heating up quite a bit so now we're already at 40 degrees but 40 degrees is still enough to cool down this volcano so if we check this out the temperature of the aluminium indicates what temperature the materials are coming out at so that is only going up in small intervals and we should be seeing some gold very soon now going through this ah yeah look at that now it's heating up so that was the gold or at least some of the hot material and of course the water is now also incoming so the water is now counteracting the effects we have and and then we'll find ourselves somewhere around the temperature of the 20 degrees or so. I just see. Okay, now I messed up another thing. And that is Meep was responsible to actually do the life support. And now that he's storing a lot, he's not doing the life support. So that needs to change. Storing goes down again for Meep. Because a lot of the deodorizers here are not doing their thing. And of course that means we're not getting fresh oxygen. And that probably means germs. Well, it's not that bad. It's just food pollution. Okay, and we can see gold is coming out at around 30 degrees, a little bit lower than that. And we should be okay because we immediately take away the gold and then in between the eruptions, this has the time to cool down. So I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. So yeah, I guess slowly but surely we are running into the problem of not having enough dupe labor. And I'm actually really surprised about that because we have, what, nine duplicates that do work? But I guess an overall dupe that is just responsible for storing would be a good idea in general. So the Somnium Synthesizer actually gets supported and then other things like this conveyor loader here. Well, right now we don't have any pending deliveries. I guess we still have to make more glass. Let's do another 50 crafts. But yeah, this is now coming along. We already have 1,800 kilograms of steel. That should be enough in order to make a rocket silo here. And then, well, before we do that, we have to explore space a little bit. Oh, there seems to be a meteor shower. Yeah, they're coming in from over here. But let's go ahead and maybe in the next episode already start exploring space a little bit by setting up a telescope after the next meteor shower. Also activating this aluminium volcano might not be the worst of ideas. But I'm happy we now have two gold volcanoes that we can actually use in order to feed our Plux Lux. And with that out of the way, I would say we're going to wrap it up right at this point. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.